So today we're looking at NTC centers or thermistors. NTC stands for negative temperature coefficient. So basically what that means is, or what an NT sensor does, it reads the temperature of a medium. In for heating engineers, the medium is water. So what this does is that probe sits in the medium, um, in the water, should we say. Not all the time. Sometimes you get dry pocket ones, so don't get caught out. Make sure you check if it's wet pocket or dry pocket. And what this does is, this reads the temperature, and you can see two prongs inside there. Two little metal prongs. You'll take a resistance reading across those two prongs. So you generally test these at 20 degrees, which is room temperature. Most of these are set to 10 to 12 kilo ohms. I think this one's 12 kilo ohms. So we'll measure that in a minute. But what happens is as the temperature rises, the resistance reading will go down. So if we start at 12, that reading will start dropping down 11, 10, 9, 8, so on and so forth until it reaches its, its limit. And that's how a temperature sensor works. And the reason we have these, what this does, stops the boiler overheating. It will control the fan and the burner um, according to the temperature and the resistance that this thermistor gives out. So first of all, we're just going to check that our multimeter leads are okay. I'm going to touch them together, it's a bit hard to do with these needle ones. We know they're okay because we checked them earlier. There we go, 2.7, 2.6. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to put one lead on that prong in there and another lead on the prong the other side okay so we've got a reading of 8.10 it's a little bit warm in here so these are probably warm now and what we're going to do is we're going to put this in some warm water and we're going to demonstrate how the resistance reading goes down so we have got we've got some water over here in our cane mug. There we go, cane. And we're at 46, 47 degrees. I'm gonna dip the thermistor in the water. We'll hold that in there for a few seconds. Right, we'll take another temperature, another resistance reading from that. And that should have now changed. There we go, as you can see, it's gone down 6.3. We didn't keep in there that long, so it's not going to have picked up all the temperature. But you get the impression, you get the idea of how this temperature sensor works. And that will then control the speed of the fan and also the burner output through the PCB. And there we go. That's how you test an NTC sensor. And what an NTC centre does. On some of the older boilers, we had PTCs, positive temperature coefficient. So that just worked in reverse. So as the temperature got hotter, the resistance went up. And that's what an NTC centre does. Hopefully that's helped some of you guys. And keep subscribing to the channel.